Oh, I got a little Wii U this morning. I saw the board. Started selling some parts off of these. I know a lot of these. And just of all of them fully work. So let me get this. I gotta get this straightened out and set up there. My Wii U. So let's see if I can get this loaded. Of course I got it. I'm using the white one. I have the white one now. I'm back to the US ones right now. We decided that earlier, or a few days ago, white Japan is 32 gigabytes. White US is only 8 gigabytes. Japan always had the better stuff. Just what it is. Alright, so let's go there. To here. And then we'll go back to this. So we'll let's get this connected. Now, I'm selling lots of fun parts off of these tablets. I usually don't sell complete systems, not, or not normally. Sometimes. It's more fun selling all the parts off of it. it takes a lot more time. It's a, That gives back over time, a lot of time. It could be a year before you kind of get your stuff back. But we should be good here. I'm pretty sure this is all connected. This and this. I don't know if we... Because it's 8 gigabytes, I don't think this will play. I'm not really going to play it anyway. I'm sure it says it's somewhere around here what it is. I'm sure if I put this in, I'm actually going to try it just to see what it says in a minute. I'm, gonna keep, I'm curious. I don't believe it will play this. Let's see what happens. And we've decided that the Japan won't play the US games. But everything else is the same. Disc can't read, it might be dirty. So this might have a disc read problem. Yeah, because the disc is perfect. So so we know that this the disc doesn't work. But that's fine. I'm just using it as my tester to test these. I've got a whole bunch more we use over there. Now I got a bunch of Japan one too. Yeah. But I saw a lot of these front plates off them, not the white ones, the black ones. And then a little cable that connects. I got a whole bunch more to say, all right, so I can't use that. All right, so let's go home here. Right, let's go back to there. All right, so this fully works, it's all. Oh, yeah, I wanna go. Yeah, no. You have no suspended software. That's what you're telling me to do. How do I get out of that? Let's do this. Let's turn it back on again. And then, so I'm going to keep this as my tester for these. I like the white better. In Japan, whites. I could figure if I had the knowledge to know how to region free it, I would. But I can always learn. So that's the good thing. I'm sure, there's some way to do it. Alright, so let's get this back on, and then we're going to take this apart, is what we're doing. I put another light up, I don't know if the light's better or worse, but I put one over there this time. So now I got one of those little bite buddies up there. Pretty fun. T-shirt from GameStop. Borderlands, I think that is. Alright. So, right, so we know that this works, there's nothing wrong with this. I'm selling the motherboard out of this. And if I remember, there's a really um, difficult little booby trap in there I gotta be careful of. That I now I know how to do. Alright, so. We're gonna say that that's done for now. We don't need to worry about that anymore. We're just going on to this right here. <clears throat> this. I have, I think five or six or eight of these and now I have six more so this one has all the thingies in it um, do I want to do that one? yeah why not alright so try wing yeah I'm going to try wing and not try wing I believe those two are the try wing and the not try wing Easiest way to explain it. Let's see. Oh, try to get 
beautiful view. So, time to go in. We're going in. So we know this fully works. So the battery, I'm not sure. I really didn't sit and test it. But I'm selling the battery compartment with all the screws as one little try to organize things into little sets of stuff that are relative kind of try it anyway so my first relative set is minus these little caps because usually they're going to all just pop out and get ruined let's see if we can salvage some of these little cappies so so the good thing is I can use the screw. Yeah, see the caps get all crappy. There's no other way to get them out safely. But so what I'm doing is pulling one of these boards as they order. You can always just buy those things. I'm not gonna try to save them. It's a little bit too much. I just can't. I just I just want to open it. <laughs> I got lots of orders from the weekend. Caps here and here too. I think this cap's right here. Isn't there a cap in here? I can't kind of remember. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Get a Ziploc bag. Because everything I have goes into some sort of a Ziploc bag. Alright. Because I'm starting that set while I'm doing this. I'm trying to. Because then if I get. I sold one set of these already, actually. And I had a few people watching it, so it seems like it might be a fairly good. you got to find that one or two things that will sell off of these off of anything that you're selling parts for and then if those will pay for whatever you paid for the unit then everything else is what they call gravy after that so you gotta get that one or two things off usually you can find out right away once you start listing stuff for a unit of any kind there'll be that one thing you're like oh so that's the thing that everybody's looking for then you know. So then anytime you get them, you, that's the first thing I would list because I know that's what everyone wants. Not always. I mean, they don't, people don't rush out, but a lot of times things will sell real quick. So, so far I've sold one motherboard and one screw set with the back cover. I think there's one in there, I'm not positive. Okay. Maybe not, maybe there isn't. Should be ten, I wasn't counting how many I had now. I know there's ten screws, because I'm positive of that now. Let's see if that's right, or that's wrong. No, I think I'm wrong. Alright, how many is that? One, two... No, there's ten. There's ten. So that should be it then. And those are just little weird caps that are all trashed. Let's see if I missed one. I think I missed a screw somewhere here. Did I or not? Oh, I think I missed it right here. I was trying to get the cap off and I never did. Yeah, I missed that one right there. Alright, so this still, that doesn't come off. Plus I still on the back cover, the front cover. No screens yet. Ten screws. 
screws there. selling things together rather sell things apart four parts oh there's one right there I, see. I missed this one that's how you learn about the insides of them at least that's how I've learned I take apart <clears throat> there's really only like the second or third one I've done but after I do about ten of them then I know I know we're all pretty good <clears throat> There we go. Now we're in business. All right. So what we're selling here is the motherboard. So there's two traps on here that I gotta watch out for. I call them the booby traps. I almost missed it the first time. First thing you wanna do these thing these boards here wanna come off, but you wanna pull them this way. Don't pull them this way. Go sideways to take them off. Cause if you pull like this or that way, it'll. These are worth a little bit. These little buggers right here. That one and this one. I'm just selling them as a set. Yeah, you want to pull them that way. Shoot sideways. Alright, so that's a little set there. There's a little, where is it? We're going to get to the, the thing that I almost got me last time. It's right, it's right there and there. Those are the two little booby traps. I'm going to watch out for them. Attention, you'll ruin it. See, you gotta lift it this way. I didn't know that last time. There's a little, little clip, little, little ting, ting clip. Right there. See how that popped out? Whew, it's so fragile. It's craziness fragile. Right here. Right there. That's one. Get it back down again. Hopefully, no people know how to put it back on. So that's why I'm videoing. So, someone says something's broken. I'm like, well, no, it wasn't broken when I took it apart to ship to you. And there's the other one. See how that just barely, you have to put your nails so slightly on that. Get that out. See, now that I know, <clears throat> the first one I almost didn't, I couldn't figure it out. And then, once I got it, and then I'm like, oh, right now I get it. <clears throat> then everything else is pretty much, well, not really, that pretty much easy peasy. Because all I'm doing right now is pulling this motherboard. So let me make sure I don't rush it. Here. <clears throat> I like taking things apart. I'm not a fan of putting them back together. Not often do I rebuild anything. Once in a while. There was another one here. <clears throat> so let's see where we're at now. So screws. Pull off. That pulls off. I'll probably put the screen up next. Although this screen's kind of yucky a little bit. It's kind of banged up a little bit. But, I'll turn it on here. All kinds of fun stuff in here. Yeah, we're going into another heat wave. Every day is craziness. And this is just on the east coast of Rhode Island. I'd hate to be in Vegas where there. How many days of 100 and... Oh, that's what I want. He, this guy wanted four motherboard screws. Somebody asked me just about the screws. I said, well, the thing is, sure, I can sell you four motherboard screws, but my minimum order now is $11 with free shipping. So even those four screws, I was going to have to charge 11 bucks Because even one ounce... Uh, you, uh, ground advantage is about, and with all fees and everything, is about seven dollars my cost out the door. So I have to make at least four bucks. So you're saying, 
Is it worth $11 to get these? Well, if it's door-to-door -door service, I'm shipping it to your door from my door. I ship it the same day. So, I think it's kind of worth it. That's what you need. That's your only need is right there. You know. So. It's kind of how I operate. And all my, everything, all my law listings are under 20 bucks. Well, most of them. Not, not the bigger stuff is but most parts are. And everything has a best offer. But... If you best offer me $6, I'm just going to decline it anyway because there's no way I can afford it because I'd have to pay you a dollar to ship that part. <laughs> Happens all the time. Just is what it is. If I can do it this way. I don't want to take that all the way off again. I just can't get my finger on these. Now I'll just take these off. Um, so that's the day in the life of a part seller with best offers so actually we want these screws out actually because I want to make a screw set and I'll do that next and a lot of people say well just put it in a stamped envelope no, no, no such thing as sending something into a stamped envelope because it has no tracking. So I have no way to know what would happen with it. So it just, you know, it's at the point now where <clears throat> shipping just went up again. So it's, soon everything's going to be at $20 at this point. Or I just have to go to sell something differently. I don't know. What did I miss? Oh, this one right there. I haven't listed in any other parts like all this fun stuff here. That. Two more screws here. Oh, is that a wing Oh, is it? That's from me for a loop. That's a tri wing. Huh. Unexpected. That is unexpected right there. Normally there's no tri wings inside these. Or, or, I didn't think there was until right now. Interesting. Well, that's original. All the caps are on it, so I would think it would be. Alright, so this button would be good. I hate to sell used buttons because it's just you're just better off to buy a new one. Spend the extra buck or two, whatever it is. There's a lot of cables in there too, ribbon cables. Ooh, there's one, there's a fun one. So many good parts. So that's how I see stuff. I don't see it as a unit at all, actually. Most people, when they buy stuff, want to buy the part, not the whole unit. I, however, if I have a broken item, I just had a couple laptops. I'll buy a whole broken laptop for a little bit more, take the part I need, and then I can just always resell the rest of it to get my money back. Or even make it a profit and it would cost me nothing. That's the way to do it, but people kind of miss that. So this will be my set of screws, because I have a feeling this will be a... Somebody already asked me about it, so... Once you get one part up, even if I don't list everything, which I haven't been able to, as a one-man shop, it's almost impossible to do that, because I just don't have the time. I wouldn't be able to keep up with orders. So once I get one item listed from something, then people ask me about other stuff. And I always just reply as soon as I see the message, unless I'm sleeping. 
and then I reply in the morning. So my motto is I'm always here to help. So, but I don't know unless you contact me, because there's just there's no way to list, you know, all, all that stuff. I don't know if I ever took the other one apart or not. Hmm. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, I took my booby traps off, which was this one and that one. Now we're on to this here. Which is here. Okay. I used to take a lot of switches apart. I was really into switches for a long time. Those are pretty easy. The Nintendo... DS is the worst. The top, the top screen's got that curly thing on it, which is a kind of a nightmare. All right, so let's. So we're kind of here. We're kind of picking away. What else we can do in here? The buttons. I think that's my screw set. Hold on, let's see if we got some more screws there somewhere. So the other screws would be that's all that and that. So many things going on here. Oh, there'd be these screws right here. I'm trying to make sure it's a complete screw set. No, this one. So I've got one. Got a couple of these that the screen's broken, so this is a good screen, although it's a little bit worn. I could use this. Oh, this has this little flip thing right here. Nope, there it is. This has got a cable. On. The other one I had the cable. This little clipper was broken. That one's not though. So that one's all right. Another good part. See what? Another fun little part there. So it's so much better pulling all the stuff off. Let's see what we got going on here. Speakers. Just me imagine the person that has to build each one of these from scratch as a manufacturing company. Say I sold two million of these. That means two million of these have to be built the exact same way. That's amazing to me. That's gonna be some patience, boy. I never, not any of the screws ever looked like they were even used. Like to put it on, which is pretty cool, which is kind of shocking. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got one more screw right there. There's a little buffer. Right, this will be done. I just needed the motherboard, which I'm gonna come back to. But I'm gonna make a screw set and then. With some other fun parts for this today. I may do it like that with the, the cable. The screws in the cable like that. Yeah. Sounds like a fun set. Oh, let's see what we got going on. You gotta loop each one of those cables exactly the correct way. That just, that's just a shock. You know, amazing to me how someone can do that a million times. Whoa. That's pretty wild. I only really want to do it once, never mind a million times. Just throw a little fun stuff in there for now. It's kind of relative related buttons and such. That looks like a good little listing right there, right? Those are on. No, that one's on. Yeah. This one will come off too, I bet. As it should, anyway. Yeah. So that's a nice little set. So I tried to put things together, uh, kind of related, so I got that, that, this one's alright, my other one was broken, so this, 
this and this. Because we know that this fully worked. So everything that's coming off here works. Oh, there goes my screen. This screen is actually good too. Although it's a little bit scratched up. See, there's this, this, that, is that, that one, and there's the other one. Those are the little traps, the booby traps. So let's put that with this. Let's see if we got any more. Let's see if anything else comes off. I think so. Just leave all those on there. I'm not going to deal with taking all That, that. We can put all that with that. We can sell these two like this. Oh, back to where I was. So these come off. I'll just do it this way. Like that. And I'll take those buttons off. I hate to sell buttons that are used. And even a controller. I would never buy a used controller. I would just always buy a new one. So we'll just leave it like that. This is the volume right there. See if it ends the volume. Pretty cool. Alright, so I want to make sure that my clippies are good. Which is that one. So if someone breaks the clip, it's not my doing. Those are the ones right here. Here, here, here. That's good. That's good. That one's good. So I'm looking at all my clips now. It's, you break one of the clips and you're pretty much done. Same with that or, the, or that. Right? Same with these. I'm just going to leave those on there. It's just easier. Cool.